Hi guys. Well, I have never tried this before. I have never tried to teach a song, a new song, hard song on the internet. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully once you learn a few of these passages, you'll be able to play along with more cowbell and keep up because it's very repetitive. Um, so if I'm not uh, talking specifically to your instrument, just hold tight because I will in just a second. Everybody at some point needs to know this rhythm, starting at measure five. Look at your part at measure five. You have one, two, and three, rest, one, two, and. You have an eighth note tied to a half in measure six, so that's one, two, and. Clap with me at measure five, five and six, two. Ready, go. One, two, and three, rest. One, two, and. Good, now here's measure seven and eight. It's one, two, and three, four, one, and. Clap that with me, seven and eight. Ready, here we go. One, two, and three, four, one, and. And that's the basic melody for this whole song. Everybody has it at some point except our snare drummers. Listen at measure five. That's the main melody. Now clarinets, I need to talk to you for just a second. This song has B flats. So your first note, let's look for you at measure one clarinets. First note is low G. Thumb, circle thumb key. One, two, three. One, two, three. That is how you play low G. Play it for me, clarinets. Good, your second note is gonna be B flat. Thumb, one, two, three, and one. This is B flat. This is B natural. This is B flat. So play your second note. Good, back to low G for your th third note. And then up to C. So clarinet, your first measure is this. Listen again. One more time. Okay? Clarinets, you'll also need in measure four your low F, thumb. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom pinky. This is great. Um, practice for when we've been walking our fingers down. Here's your low F. Basically every finger is down except this guy. Okay. Um, so flutes, let's look at your part. You don't play in measures one, two, three, and four. You start in measure five. Flutes, your first note is F. Then you go up to A flat, thumb, one, two, three, and this fancy little pinky key. Now back to F. High B flat. F. A flat. B flat, here's measure seven. Okay, Flitz, good luck with your part. It's not hard, it repeats itself. You'll see it again later on. Saxes, your part's gonna sound a lot like the clarinets, but you have to start on low D. Low D is your first note. One, two, three, one, two, three is your first note. Guys, any notes here you don't recognize, you need to look up, okay? Um, I know it, it's crazy to teach you a new song, on the internet, but I had a lot of kids requesting more cowbell, and it's time, it's just time we learn it. Um, then your second note saxophones is, I'm looking at measure five saxes, your first note is though D, one, two, three, one, two, three. Your second note is F, not F sharp, so it's one, two, three, and one, regular F, okay? Trumpets, you start on a G, and you're going up to, your second note is a B flat. B flat is gonna be first finger. So you have. That's high C. Okay, trumpets play with me at five. One, two, ready, 
Hey, trumpets, go. Okay, trombones, it's your turn. Trombone, and I'll talk to baritones, tubas here, too. Trombone, baritone, tuba, you start at the beginning. So measure one. Your first note is an F, so open for trombone. I'm sorry, open for baritone and tuba, first position for trombone. Second note for trombone, that's an A flat. We're going to go to third position. The slide meets the bell. Trombones is third position. Tuba, baritone is first finger for A flat. And then back to F. And then high B flat. If you're on baritone tuba, it's open trombones, first position. So the first measure is. If you're a trombone, one, three, one, one. If you're tuba, baritone, open, one, open, open. Okay? Let's hear trombone, baritone, tuba. Let's play measures one, two, three, and four, nice and slow. One, two, ready, go. All right, everybody that plays at the beginning, measures one, two, three, and four, play with us. One. Two measures one, two, three, and four. Now we're at measure five. If you play at five, come in and join us. One, two, measure five, go. cowbell comes in clunk, 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 doing their thing all right now at measure nine the uh clarinets have a little bit of a solo one two and three four and one two and three four then you have to be able to go down to that low f clarinets you have <laughs> down to that low F we already talked about. Then measure 11, everybody already knows this part, we've had it. Okay, now we're at measure 13. 13 and 14, the trumpets and the saxophones get to have the melody here. Um, saxes, you're starting on an A. Trumpets, this is your B flat first finger. Everybody's already had this part before. We know what to do. And we should have just gotten from 1 to 16. Pretty slowly. We're going to try it. Um, we're going to try and go without me talking. I'm going to try and keep going. The only time, I'll play clarinet the whole time. The only time I'm going to switch is at measure 13 to cover the little solo there. All right. Good luck to you. Beginning, we will stop at 17. Um, I'm going to leave a recording on this assignment of my family playing more cowbell. There's lots of squeaks. Don't judge. Um, and then maybe if you feel comfortable, you can play along with it when we get done with this. Because today in our lesson, we're just going 1 through 16. Okay. 1 through 16. Beginning. Here we go. I'm going to be playing the clarinet part. So if you... Um, aren't playing during a certain part, you need to count your rest. So at the beginning, if you're not playing, you're going to go one, two, three, four, two, two, three. And I'll tell you when it's time to play measure five. Okay? Here we go from the top, everybody. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Me 
measure five. switching instruments halfway through but we made it okay let's do that much again go back to the beginning we're gonna go 1 to 16 one more time same thing I'll play clarinet I'll try and switch at 13 but wait for me if I can't switch clear fast enough and then after this we're gonna stop with this part of the lesson and if you are doing great and you want more of a challenge then you're gonna watch the next video which is my family playing more cowbell if you're like Oh, Miss Thurman, that was a nightmare. I'm not going any farther. Are you kidding me? Then you're going to go ahead and stop, okay? Challenge yourself, though. This is a fun song. All right, from the top. Here we go, folks. One, two, more cowbell from the beginning. Here we go. we finished 16 we got to 17 if you made it all the way there awesome this is hard it's hard to teach this without you being in front of me um but it's kind of fun it's i like the challenge so here's your question of the day was that fun you want to do more you want to learn more go on at 17 or no more cowbell okay so here, the answer in the comments is let's learn more or no more cowbell Okay, you tell me, because if you want to do more next Friday, I'll teach you the next part. If if that didn't go well, just tell me and we'll stop. Okay, all right. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.